basic idea of, of, of where they believe uh, in this concept of redistribution of wealth. This is socialism at its best. It's saying, you know what, we're all equal. We're going to ignore the fact that people have different talents and they have different uh, contributions that they can make at different levels in society. We're going to ignore the fact that in these different gifts and talents, some are going to make more economically and some are less. Some are going to require more education, some less. What socialism says is we are just all equal and we're going to redistribute from those that have and give to the ones that do not have. That concept is a violation of scripture for one. That's why you see a lot of religious activity saying we've got to stop this socialist experiment that's happening in our country today because the religious community understands the 10th commandment. It says don't covet and socialism is rooted in covetousness. Somebody has something somebody else doesn't have so we hire politicians to go and take it from them. That's a theft and usually when you talk about the ones that they're taking it from these are people that have worked hard themselves. It's definitely the Christian responsibility to help those in need. And the problem when we have this fourth branch of government, which Reagan talks about um, being the bureaucracy, is that individuals relinquish their responsibility because they know that government is going to take care of everyone. Um, it's not the individual's responsibility, Christian responsibility, allow their friends and neighbors to become dependent on government. That's not Christian at all.